Hey, what's up Halo fans? Welcome back to another Halo video. Now, today's video, I'm going to be uh, doing a video of me talking about the blog post that Thief for Teachers came out with and also free online multiplayer for Halo Infinite that's been confirmed. But we are going to be talking about the blog post first uh, before talking about, you know, the free multiplayer. Uh, just so you know, I'm not going to be reading all the stuff that's in the blog post. I will read the main bits, the main parts of the blog post. Uh, if you guys want to read the whole thing yourself, the link will be in the description. So anyways, uh, let's start off. There is good stuff and the bad stuff. Let's start off with the bad stuff and then the good stuff. So we all remembered watching the Halo Infinite gameplay reveal and Thief of Thieves shown us new, you know, multiple weapons like the Bulldog weapon and the new pistol known as the Psychic. Uh, so, you know, IGN made a, a post saying that they will replace, you know, that Thief of Thieves will do a replacement for the classic uh, iconic uh, weapons such as the shotgun and the magnum and many people never take IGN that seriously because they are kind of known being as you know terribly misinformed so people were like oh just ignore them nothing to see here however it seems that IGN were right after all because when I was scrolling down the blog post that uh, there's a question about will there be uh, you know uh, uh, other pistols or shotguns in the game so if you look here uh, here it says I won't I won't read all of it uh, but I will read the main part uh, so here it says and I quote there are additional variants of each of these but the classic magnum and the tactical shotgun aren't currently featured in Halo Infinite and this here is a massive massive disappointment um, I was honestly thinking they would have the classic magnum and shotgun in the game already. They didn't say anything like it won't ever be in the game. They probably, you know, you know, would give us some, uh, you know, a weapons update, you know, over time. I mean, you know, 350 will be building off this platform, you know, so they would add a lot of content to it. But that doesn't make it okay. This kind of stuff should be in the game at launch. No excuse. You know, these weapons I see called the sidekick pistol and the ball dog shotgun, they don't look like Halo weapons. Personally, I don't mind them, you know, being in the game. But if they're in the, if, but if they are in the game for a replacement over the classic weapons, then that's going to cause a huge problem. You need to give us more options, 343. If we don't like the sidekick pistol, we have the good old Magnum. Or if we don't like the bulldog shotgun, we have the classic shotgun. You know, we can stick to that. You know, let's put it like this. You know, removing these iconic weapons is almost like removing lightsabers from Star Wars and replacing with the with a medieval sword. <laughs> Imagine that, right? It's literally like that. It's very stupid, like, you just can't mess with the classic design, like, that's that's Halo design, man. Okay, so moving forward, they talked about the multiplayer beta, uh, but we have no confirmation when the beta will be out, but I, I do hope it's soon because the game is literally coming out in a few months time which is worrying because we haven't play tested tested the game so we've got to try the game we've got to know what the game truly feels like uh what it plays like you know uh, so i hope you can pull this one through so the gameplay demo we saw uh, apparently that build was actually um was work in progress uh, from several weeks ago and that kind of and i honestly thought that was like seven months ago uh, but now they're saying is several weeks ago and that's not a really good thing to hear uh, you know the, the, you know they're all saying stuff like you know the team you know is you know is taking you know very very seriously and working to assess but damn man like I was honestly you know I was actually hoping yeah it will be a very old build but it's not even that old and graphically it looks like uh, current gen um, but then again I'm not too fussed about the graphics um, look as, as long as the graphics you know look nice they don't need to look amazing like how last of us 2 looks or red dead redemption 2 but as long if um, if if the gameplay is great and if it just looks decent you know then i'll be happy with that um you know i, I, I don't want to believe that several weeks ago i just don't want to believe that like come on man like you've been working on this game for five years and i know i, I just think people are trolling us <laughs> sometimes like several weeks ago like dude you should delay this game until next year that's what you're that's what you should should be doing if this is actually true. I, I just don't want to believe this. Like several weeks ago, man, come on. I, I thought it would be a lot older than that. Um, but I'm, I'm so confident, you know, they will fix the graphics. But like I said, I don't, I'm not really too fussed about the graphics, you know. It's all about gameplay. Uh, the gameplay, you know, does feel like Halo. Uh, that's what matters. Uh, at least for, you know, for, for, you know, for some people. Uh, that, you know, that's what, you know, we should be looking at that more. Uh, so yeah, uh, not good news still, but 
it is what it is. They did, you know, hear stuff about, you know, Digital Foundry, which is a good thing. Like, the, the, I think they looked at, looked into his video. Um, I haven't really watched all of his videos, but, uh, uh, but, but apparently the video he made for Halo Infinite is really good. So, yeah, I uh, do hope they do take a lot of notes from that, 343. So, yeah, not good. Not good news, but... It is what it is, man. So, now we got the bad parts out of the way, let's move on to the fun stuff. So here we have a question, are there kill barriers or return to battlefield zones in campaign? And I quote, Since we want to allow players to explore and get creative with their engagements, we try to reduce these as much as possible in Halo Infinite. There would always be some exceptions, but usually if you can see it, you should be able to go there. So hopefully when we do see a mountain from long range, we can, you know, go there and I'm hoping it wouldn't be restricted you know like I want to like how it was in Halo 2 where you could literally escape out the map and, and have no return to battlefield uh, back in the day that was amazing you know doing that um, next question on the blog uh, so the question is what about split screen and co-op uh, so this is a very common uh, question uh, I think you guys already know by now so you know I still you know mention it uh, so again, I'll quote, Camping will support two-player split-screen, online four-player co-op. Yes, you can play on your couch with a friend. So this is great news, you know, I still, you know this was confirmed, you know, you know two years ago. Uh, Halo 5 was a huge letdown because it, it only supported one player, which was terrible. Uh, Halo is known for split-screen, so I'm happy it's coming back. Uh, hopefully they do it on PC. Uh, obviously, PC isn't really known for split-screen, but I really hope Halo Infinite, you know, on PC does get split screen. Currently, the future is on the console uh, only. Uh, next question, and this is one is it's kind of funny one. How's Craig? Uh, <laughs> so, people they found this brute meme funny. Uh, I think every everyone obviously found this funny. This meme exploded in the Halo community, and they said, and I quote, uh, "We've all laughed at, uh, very hard at the non-stop stream of Craig's meme." Uh, the, the community is cracking out. Uh, Craig is thick skinned and seems to be. Uh, you know, taking it in stride, uh, though all of his fame and attention seems to be going uh, into his forehead. Um, one request I want from P43, uh, if, you, if you're watching this video, please do make a nameplate of Craig. I mean, come on, like, there has to be a Craig nameplate, right? Uh, I would love to see that in Halo Infinite, and I know all of, all of you guys would love to see it too. So that would be great if they do uh, have a nameplate for that. Here they have a list that uh, I won't really go through uh, all of them. Uh, you can pause the video to see them. Uh, to see them. Uh, but some of these got me very interested in... It mentions about microtransactions and it says Halo Infinite. Uh, will not include real money uh, loot boxes and this is good news. Uh, but, but I don't think it means microtransactions would be in game it might work differently not sure i just hope it's not forced uh, but really microtransaction need they need to be removed entirely uh, but considering they made a lot of money from halo 5 i, I don't think it, it's not going to go anywhere fortunately um you know microsoft you know will keep this around for a very long time so next one uh in universe timing so and it says uh it follows the master chief story sometime after halo 5 guardians uh, uh, conclusion now I do think they should continue the story but not too like extreme, not too focused. Um, I still want to know uh, you know, what happened to, uh, to the Osiris team and Blue team. We still haven't heard from them, neither you know, Lasky, same thing with Agent Locke. Nobody knows what happened to them, Eshron probably wiped them all out, uh, we don't know uh, for now, uh, we are just speculating. Um, Please remember, I did not enjoy Halo 5's story. Uh, I just want to know what happened to the characters after the events of Halo 5. Regardless of how bad Halo 5's story was, I st still want to know. So next one we have here, if we look at the player customization, and I quote, If you like the level of armor customization options in Halo Reach, you will be pleased. Yes, this is awesome to hear from T43. I think Reach had the best armor customization uh, at the franchise. So I could I could imagine how the armor customization would be like in Halo Infinite. Looking forward you know, to seeing that. And please T43, bring back Playboy Elites. We've been asking them for so long. Make it happen. You know, like, and if you do bring them back, I want to wear the Arbiter's armor in Halo Infinite's multiplayer. Oh, and also make Brutes uh, playable. Uh, there's so much potential you guys can do with these guys. Uh, so yeah, please do make it happen. Uh, next one we have here, uh, right at the bottom of the list, uh, they mentioned uh, Forge, uh, and I quote, our famous editing tool will be in Halo Infinite and will have undo and redo buttons, which is a first for Forge. 
Uh, this sounds incredible. I just can't wait to see how Forge turns out. Feel free to all you know, really good at making Forge systems. Um, you know, they did a pretty good job in Halo 4 and, you know, um, you know an amazing job in Halo 5. Uh, so it's going to be amazing in Halo Infinite. Uh, can't wait to see that. And feel free to please do add AIs and Pelicans in Forge. I, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm talking about drivable Pelicans, not uh, as a prop. I want to fly Pelicans in Forge. And then I'll die happy. <laughs> pretty, pretty please. Uh, another question, and it's a pretty common one. How would the uh, new grapple hook work in multiplayer? Here it says, and I quote, Equipment items like the grapple shot function differently in multiplayer and will be available as items that can, pick, that can be picked up on the map. This again is terrific. You know, people need to take a chill pill about the grapple shot. It's not even overpowered. Uh, I was kind of skeptical at first, but not anymore. Like if we all looked at Halo 2, what about the energy sword? That, that was very overpowered, especially the lunge. It's insane. I've seen a video, you know, from Hidden Spear mentions that, you know, fantastic Halo YouTuber, by the way. And he compares the energy sword to the grapple shot, how it gives you that same vibe because of the lunge. And, it's not even, it's not even maybe that overpowered, no, not even compared to the energy sword from Halo 2. Okay, now I'm done reading the blog, now let's move on to the big stuff, the crazy stuff, the fun stuff, and maybe the bad stuff. So apparently if you guys didn't know, 343 confirmed on Twitter that Halo Infinite's multiplayer will be free to play. Now, I don't know about you guys, uh, but I think this could be very good or very bad i uh, have mixed feelings i just i don't know what to say the only free to play a game i enjoyed personally was pubg mobile <laughs> if they are going to go down to this path i hope they execute it very well uh, you know good luck to them and you know when it comes to when it comes to free to play games they do have you know microtransactions which i really despise and absolutely hate uh, who knows it could probably work out well maybe this is the only way Halo Infinite could compete with other free-to-play titles like COD Warzone, Fortnite, PUBG Mobile, CSGO and potentially and we could potentially have a bigger Halo community you know so what do you guys think of this idea do you guys think it's a good idea uh, that Halo Infinite multiple will be free for everyone uh, I think they could put it off you know if you think about it like I do have I do kind of have hopes for it. Uh, I think the new Xbox console won't require Xbox Live Gold anymore, and I heard that's going to be running at 120 FPS. Uh, yeah, I think that's confirmed, uh, and that's a big thing for Xbox users. Um, I, you know, I hope that's true. You know, with the free online play uh, Xbox Live Gold, um, they, they don't really need that anymore. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop the video here now. And thank you guys for stopping by. If you guys are new to the Halo channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Halo content, and be sure to follow us on Twitch. We're going to be streaming Halo on Twitch almost like every day. And I'll see you Spawns in the next video. Bye.